Welcome to our video guide to your new LG air source heat pump. In this video, we're gonna run through a few frequently asked questions and give you an overview of your new heat pump. So firstly, how does the heat pump work? Your air source heat pump will extract heat from the outside air by a refrigeration circuit. And then we'll come in through the house via plate to plate heat exchanger and we'll either divert off to your underfloor heating radiators or your hot water cylinder. So on my unit, I've got an LG controller. How is this used? The main LG controller on the unit is mainly there for commissioning and setting flow temperatures from an installer point of view. The heat pump on a day-to-day -day basis can be controlled separately. So how do I control the room temperatures on a day-to-day -day basis? So when it was installed, you will have a room thermostat put in place. This will constantly monitor the ambient temperature around you and will ramp the compressor on the heat pump accordingly to keep up with heat demand inside the house. Brilliant, so we've got the room temperature controlled. How is my hot water controlled? Your hot water cylinder will be set at roughly around 50 degrees as an average from when it's been installed. And we work on what's called a delta T of five degrees. And by that, I mean, as soon as the cylinder drops below 45 degrees, the heat pump will sense that and it will kick itself back on and get it back up to 50 degrees. It's far more sustainable to keep a volume of hot water at a set temperature than it is to drain off, let cool down, and then charge back up again. Brilliant, so how do I know if my hot water is switched on? You'll know that your hot water is switched on because you'll see a shower symbol on your controller. And when that shower symbol is highlighted or illuminated on the controller, you'll know that the heat pump is currently in hot water mode and it's put in charge into the cylinder. Brilliant, so I've noticed after I've used a large amount of hot water that my radiators cool down. Why is this? So that's normal and the reason for that is heat pumps have always been priority hot water first. So by that I mean when there's demand for hot water or if you've just had a bath, your heat pump will then focus on recharging the cylinder and whilst that happens you'll notice for the best part of 10-15 minutes the radiators will start to drop off on heat. Lovely and lastly in cold temperatures what is going to happen to my outdoor unit? So cold temperatures outside particularly around 0 and minus figures when the heat pump's ramping or working quite hard, you'll end up with frost on the back of the outdoor evaporated unit. And then every now and then we have what's called a defrost cycle. And you'll notice when this happens that there'll be condensation and steam come off the back of the unit and you may see a little bit of water drip off the bottom of it. But perfectly normal is just a way of making sure that that evaporation coil is kept at a temperature that works well. Brilliant. So now I'm just going to show you some of these key controls. So here we have the LG controller for your heat pump. Now I'm going to show you how to operate it. The power button here, this is always disabled and it cannot be switched on or off by pressing it. You'll notice the word control will be displayed in the bottom left corner. This means that a room thermostat controls your heating. When your room thermostat is calling for heat, the light on button 4 will be a light. It will switch off once your rooms have reached temperature. Normally the heat pump works at a fixed flow temperature to your radiators and displays this temperature on the LG controller. This could range from 40 to 55. As you can see here we're set at 45. You can adjust the temperatures of your radiators by pressing the temperature up button or down button to get the preferred temperature you require. And I'm going to talk to you about operation mode. This button is only active for the LG low temperature heat pump and not available on the high temperature model. By pressing this button, the heating will operate in weather compensation mode. Therefore, the colder the outside temperature, the hotter the radiators will feel. When this button is pressed and a symbol of a house with a letter A will appear on the LG screen, by pressing the temperature up and down button, you can adjust the temperature of your radiators. Silent mode is available which lowers the sound of the outdoor unit. The LG heat pump is low noise, therefore this function is normally required. However, if this operation is used, the efficiency and output of the heat pump will also be lowered. To set the heating and hot water temperatures, press this button once to set the hot water tank temperature and then by pressing the temperature up and down button, you can now adjust the temperature of your hot water tank. The hot water tank temperature cannot be adjusted unless the heating is switched on, which is the light on the power button. To view system, system temperatures, you can use this button. 
Once pressed, you will then be able to view the system temperatures. The first press provides the return temperature to the heat pump. Press again to show the flow temperatures from the heat pump and press again to show the hot water tank temperature provided it's switched on. These buttons here are not normally operated by the homeowner as they are for installer purpose only as they are used for commissioning the system and setting the internal time clock. It's not essential for the LG controller to read the correct time as the internal time clock is not required. As for any breakdowns or faults, in the unlikely event of a breakdown, a fault code will appear on the LG controller display. An example of this would be CH14. This fault needs to be reported to your installer, however in an emergency, you can turn the outdoor unit isolator off. Wait 10 seconds for the unit to reset. If the fault reappears, then the engineer will be required to fix the fault. This is normally something simple like a blocked filter that can easily be cleaned. The most common one is trapped air when a unit has first been installed. You should always contact your installer if you have any concerns with your heat pump system.